Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain you what is a Sharpe ratio and what is the difference between a daily and annual Sharpe ratio and how we are going to calculate it. I often get a question from a lot of people when they are considering Sharpe as one of the parameters to understand whether the strategy or the stock is performing well or not. So, you know, before you have to be very, very fundamentally clear that the Sharpe itself what you're talking about is a daily or annually right so i'm going to explain you and I'm, I'm going to tell you how to calculate both the things before that let me explain you what is a sharper ratio basically so sharper ratio is basically uh, you know your expected return of your portfolio minus your risk free rate of return divided by your standard deviation so basically what are, what we're trying to do we're just trying to uh, capture the um, you know the uh, not the entire return right so we are we are deducting the risk free rate of return out of the entire return and then we are just taking in uh, divided by uh, your standard deviation right then only you are getting the sharper ratio here so how we are going to calculate it basically so here is a, a, you know a live example so this is the result of my strategy uh, you know from 2015 so 2nd of january 2015 to uh, 30th of uh, December 2015 for entire year now this is my this column is my return of this strategy and then I have added another new column which is your risk period of return I'm assuming here my risk period of return is 5% and then I'm uh, adding a new column which is return minus risk period of return which is basically nothing but your excess return out of your risk period return so this column is basically your B minus C okay column b and column column b minus column c you will get this okay now so first of, let me come to here so there are two options here okay so option one and option two so in option one what you need to do once you got this uh, you know access return column which is return minus your uh, risk free rate of return then you will first you will calculate the mean mean of this column right so this is this is this is what mean of excess return right so i'm taking the average of column d which is mean of excess return and then i'm calculating the standard deviation of excess return i'm calculating the standard deviation of this column right so then i'm just simply dividing this by this and i'm getting a sharpe of 1.56 but remember this sharpe is a daily sharpe because this return is my daily return okay so that's why it is a daily and this standard deviation definitely is a daily standard deviation definitely so uh, you know the sharpe is a daily sharpe all right now there is another option that you know you can calculate the daily sharpe so what you should do instead of you know putting this new two column right you, you have just column a and b and then you can also calculate sharpe ratio you no need to add this c and d here okay what you need to do you just simply take an average of return okay which is mean of return take an average of column B okay and then you take a standard deviation of this column okay 2.611 uh, 2 which is standard deviation of this column okay and then definitely your sharpe is your uh, you know you have to deduct the risk free rate of return so what you need to do you have to deduct uh, you know your 5 percent which is risk free rate of return out of this okay and then divided by your standard deviation now you can see this formula formula here right so which is your uh, mean of return or average of the return not the excess return i'm just saying return right so uh, mean of return minus your risk rate of return which is five percent and divided by your standard deviation right you are getting the same result 1.56 1.56 uh, you can if, if you can notice here the standard deviation of your excess return and the standard deviation of return is same so it doesn't really make sense whether you can uh, adding this two column or not right why i'm telling that because i have seen a couple of uh, videos they have uploaded in the youtube that they are saying that so you know you just you need to add a column c and column d and then you do no need it's it's absolute because you have to be fundamentally clear what exactly you are doing but the most important thing that you need to understand that sharpe is a daily or weekly or monthly or annual right now coming back so we have to calculate the annual sharpe because this is daily sharpe and i cannot take a decision uh, based upon this daily sharpe definitely i have to take a decision on the uh, you know annual sharpe all right so let's calculate the annual sharpe what you have to do you have to calculate the uh, you know annual return and you have to calculate the annual standard deviation then definitely your sharpe will be your annual sharpe 
there is no rocket science here to understand this right this is a very very simple things but then what you should do now how to calculate the annual return right so here the entire data set is you know for, for for the entire year so whatever the return you are getting you know the total return right sum of all the return 93.031 here you can see or here 93.03 if you if you're adding this return column you are getting the entire you know uh, for the entire year so this i'm just simply adding this return the column okay for annual return i'm getting 93.03 percent that is my annual return now how to calculate the standard deviation annually so you cannot you know simply uh, just just adding the standard deviation no you cannot do that so there is a formula here you have to take that formula into consideration so first you need to calculate the standard deviation of daily which is uh, it's already there right so which is this one so this is your standard deviation of uh, daily daily standard deviation right so what you need to do you have to calculate uh, annually so this is the formula square root of 252 i'm assuming that you know 252 trading days in a year right and the square root of 252 and to multiply it with your daily standard deviation so then you will get a annual standard deviation now simply uh, you have to uh, you know you have to calculate the sharpe which is your annual return minus your five percent which is the expiry rate of return divided by your annual standard deviation okay so that one you will get your um, annual sharpe now 2.12 now there's another option let's say you don't have so i have highlighted here in a different color let's say you don't have the data set for the entire year you have only 15 days or 20 days of data set right so how are you going to calculate the um, annual standard deviation or sorry annual sharpe so what you need to do you are just uh, you know you have to take some assumption here what you need to do so you have here let's say uh, you know 16 days of data set so first you have to calculate uh, sorry first you have to uh, calculate the average of uh, you know the return right so average of this this 16 days return which is 1.014 and then you, the assumption is let's say i have uh, you know uh, 252 days um, trading trading days then what you need to do you simply multiply with 252 with this um, average daily return then you will get an annual return right now the standard deviation definitely you have to calculate the standard deviation of sample here s yes. so standard deviation of uh, these many is uh, return so which is uh, you know uh, this 2.774 now out of that you have to calculate the annual standard deviation so again square root of 252 again you are assuming there is a uh, number of trading days in a year is 252 uh, multiply with your daily standard deviation so you will get 44.04 and then you will definitely you will calculate the sharp way by the same formula here so you know your annual return minus your expiry rate of return divided by your annual standard deviation you will get a uh, annual sharp ratio of 5.69 I think this video uh, explained you, uh, you know, in a very detailed way how to calculate Sharpe ratio annually. Uh, yes, once you calculated the Sharpe, then uh, obviously, you know, according to your Sharpe value, you can say that this stock is performing, um, you know, whether you can say it's excellent or very good or acceptable. Now here you can see it's 5.69, um, you know, annual Sharpe is 5.69, so definitely I can say it's an excellent one. But then, uh, honestly speaking, you know, it's it's very difficult to get a 5.69 Sharpe because uh, your annual return is, if you see, your annual return is showing 256 percent which is like almost 300 percent like three times so you know in one year if someone is tripling the fund it is like really really very difficult to get a strategy like this but anyway so there's another point that we can discuss it further that you know how to optimize it and all kind of things so i i do agree that we really uh, you know in the real world when we do we definitely use python or some python package or function to easily calculate the sharp way but why i made this video in excel just to make you understand and to tell you what exactly a sharp ratio in a very fundamental way so that you can understand it uh, in a better way and then when you adding the sharp uh, into your uh, you know one of the parameter to understand whether the stock or strategy is a uh, you know good or bad then probably you have to think whether i'm just considering the sharp is a daily or annual right I think this video will help you to understand these things in a better way so stay tuned and uh, hopefully in future i will make some good videos to make you guys understand you know in a different uh, uh, concept thank you so much for watching this video thanks